The world has lost another great musician. We're remembering influential troubadour Leonard Cohen in today's Entertainment City after his death at the age of 82. The baffled king composing hallelujah. Musician, poet, novelist, epic, enigmatic. Leonard Cohen has died at the age of 82, leaving behind a body of hugely influential work that spans nearly 50 years. There is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. His death was confirmed on his Facebook page. While no cause was given, the statement perfectly sums up the void Cohen leaves, reading in part, we've lost one of music's most revered and prolific visionaries. That's not an exaggeration. The Canadian artist, who was born in Montreal in 1934, wrote lyrics meditating on love and faith, power, politics, war, despair, and exaltation. More than 2,000 recordings of his songs have been made, many of them covers of arguably his most famous ballad, Hallelujah. That's Jeff Buckley's earnest take. He was one of many artists, including Johnny Cash and Justin Timberlake, who covered Cohen. Timberlake paid tribute to Cohen on Twitter, calling him a spirit and soul beyond compare. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau mourned Cohen's loss on Twitter, sharing this lyric. There's a blaze of light in every word. It doesn't matter which you heard, the holy or the broken, hallelujah. Cohen's final studio album, You Want It Darker, was released just last month. Cohen, who never married, is survived by two children and three grandchildren. This is the day they arrived. Mama, what's going to happen? I don't know. Buzz is building around Arrival, the pensive sci-fi alien parable from Canadian director extraordinaire Denis Villeneuve. Our special TIFF correspondent, Tara Sloan, caught up with the stars at the film's Canadian premiere. This is a movie that really stays with you. Did it alter the way that you thought about time, maybe? Definitely changed uh, the way I think about life and appreciating the moments in between. Like, there are large moments that define our life, but there are so many moments in between. What do you think would happen if we had extraterrestrials land on Earth? I think uh, not too dissimilar from, from the movie. How people react to that fear is can be detrimental, but if we all unite as, as a human race to to one common cause, you know, it's, wow, I would, amazing that would be, but sadly I believe that's the fantasy and the fiction in the story. Arrival hits theaters today. And by the way, BT Toronto viewers, keep your eyes peeled for a special cameo appearance from our very own Tammy Sutherland. Meanwhile, you can catch Tara in Montreal this weekend as she and Ron McLean bring Rogers' hometown hockey to town. The weekend celebrations will include a performance by Montreal Natives' Sam Roberts Band. Catch it Sunday on Sportsnet. As long as abusers are protected, their crimes obscured, crimes like these will continue. Also on Sunday, the return of blood and water. Oh, you don't want to do this right now, oh, believe me. It's not going to end well for you. Omni's original crime drama series continues season one with eight new hair-raising episodes of murder and mystery. BT Vancouver's Riaz Megji caught up with star Byron Mann, who plays newcomer detective Evan Ong. When we look at story and formula, Blood and Water, is this more uh, a crime story or an exploration of family values? It's really both. And the cultural voice behind it, how does that add a rich context to a show like this? Well, that's, I don't think there's a show like this uh, in Canada. There's Mandarin, there's Cantonese, uh, there's English, obviously. It's a real um, grassroots kind of a show. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here. And, of course, anytime on Twitter, at NCity.